in the same night, I reached out to a friend of mine in Hawaii and I said to him, can I come um, can I come to your house in Hawaii because he had a beautiful farm and can I come and spend some time there with you to heal myself? And to which he replied, he said yes. And um, with my less money, I jumped on a plane and I flew all the way to Hawaii. When I got there, uh, my friend said to me, look, I need to go to the mainland US, so here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you need. Just take care of my, of my puppies and take care of yourself. And he left. As he was leaving, he, he said to me, if you have the chance to read a book by Catherine Kuhlman, uh, go ahead and read it because I think it will truly, truly help you. I had never heard of Catherine Kuhlman. My friend, he is not a believer in the Bible as the word of God. He, uh, he doesn't believe in, uh, he's not a follower of Jesus Christ. And he said, and I didn't really understand why he was telling me this. So I just, uh, I, I bought the book, assuming that the book is about the power of the human mind. That was my thinking when I got the book. And uh, some weeks later, the book arrived in the mail. And I remember I was standing in front of the kitchen sink, uh, alone in the whole house, overlooking the, the orchard, overlooking the, rain for the, the, the rainforest in the distance, waving in the wind. And I could see the ocean as a, as a, as a blue strip over the horizon. It was a beautiful uh, sunny day. And I opened the book and I started to read the foreword. And the foreword said, Catherine Kuhlman, a mighty woman of God in the 40s and 50s, mighty miracles have has gone da, uh, performed through her hands. And as I was reading, I, I, I remember thinking, oh man, this is a Christian book. I don't think I want to read this. But anyway, I just flipped over the, the forward. I went all the way down to the last sentence, which said, if you have not made that full surrender to Jesus Christ, do it now. Now, when my eyes finished reading this sentence, do it now, I felt like an electric shock going through my heart, like the hospital pedals, or like being uh, having uh, been stricken by lightning. My knees buckled, I dropped the book in the sink, and I almost went down on the floor. I grabbed the sink with my elbows, not to fall down on the marble floor, and I pulled myself up, maybe a second later. When I got myself up, when I pulled myself up, I realized that all depression, all hurt, all guilt, all trauma had been instantly hit. I was instantly healed of them. I didn't know it, what had happened in that moment. It took me three years to realize that in that moment, I experienced what the Bible says, Jesus Christ came to break the power of sin and darkness and death over us. So I felt like a breeze, like a, like a breeze of air going through me. <sighs> and all hurt, all depression just fell off me in one split second. I was completely healed.